Hi there, welcome back to Stellaris, the Leviathan's DLC is there. We'll start a new game with a community made empires, some empires added for um, all the fluff and the cuties of course I've included as well. These are the Nautiloids, let's go through them so you can see them. What is their appearance? The appearance is of the cute snail, their species name is the Nautiloids. This is inspired from the Nautilus snail that is swimming through the seas. And it's based on their great god Nautilon. If, you're, if you've looked at the teaser video, you'll know all about it. Like, Nautilon is a giant tentacled snail that rests in a hole in the savannah world of Neptulus. And that will awaken one day. It is giving the golden threat to the Nautiloid people of what they should and shouldn't do. We have the name lists, they have Naughty before that, the traits, they are extremely adaptive, which is their only strength due to their shells. They have a certain microclimate in there which helps them to survive in almost every situation. So this explains why a snail could, uh, could be <laughs> living on a savannah world and be successful after all, after a time of trouble. They were always hunted by all kinds of predators until they, their god Nautilon helped them. That is what they believe, to um, get weapons, to gain persistence and to change their mind. They are now hunters. Not prey anymore, but they are hunters. That is what they that is their magical world. That is what they say all the time. They are hunters now. So you can see what these arch prophets nails. Um, and this, by the way, is a crude portrait of the being that rests in the hole on Neptun on Neptulus. Like the home world name is Neptulus, which was once an ocean planet, but the the oceans have dried out and savannas are now the predominant um, vegetation and, and fauna and flora. So the star name is the Eye of Nautilon. They imagine that Nautilon is watching them through the star. City appearance, of course, Nautiloid. They are collectivists, xenophobes because of their past, because of their hunter past, they are collectivists because of their being hunted past, they're xenophobes and they're spiritualists because of their belief in Neptulon. And they have a divine leader that translates Neptulon's will, which leads them. And so they are a divine mandate. And they're preparing the galaxy for Nautilon's arrival, which means they want to make the whole galaxy safe again. And you'll see how they will do that. Their flag already gone through that. And their god Nautilon gave them energy weapons. Some crude, strange, early light ray weapons that uh, made them become the predominant species on Neptulus. And they follow the glittering trails through the stars led by the elders, the elder, the star snails, maybe, maybe Neptulon, uh, Nautilon himself led these trails through space and they are following the glittering trails th through hyperspace that Nautilon has prepared for them. They have molluscid tubes, of course. So that's what they are. We'll start in a huge galaxy again. We'll try that again. Will be a ring or a spiral galaxy. Mm, I think we're going for a spiral again. It's like inspired by the shell of the snails. We'll have all empires we can get. And I want the AI starts to be on par with each other. Like some advanced AI starts would be okay for me, but I it is also like to give every community empire the same chance. So we're going for no advanced AI starts. Fallen empires. Now we want to experience the full might of fallen empires. So we're going for four here. Let's leave the habitable worlds at 
100%. Maybe we'll go at 125%. As they mentioned that uh, there are fewer habitable worlds now. So we're making it a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, the difficulty will be on hard. There are quite some house rules, so I'm a little bit afraid of insane difficulty. <laughs> I think hard will be sufficient with the house rules we have. FTL, any clustered starts? Um, I don't think there should be clustered starts. I think it should be like in the... Uh, we will spread them randomly across the galaxy. Like, I love randomness, so... Advanced neighbors, we'll make that off. They shouldn't, there shouldn't be advanced neighbors, but we won't have a fallen empire start near us. That would be strange. Endgame crisis, yeah, we are putting that on. Iron Man, I'm, I don't want to let's play with Iron Man because always something can happen to a recording or I might forget one or it might be corrupt. And then I cannot repeat it, cannot show you the full game. So we won't go for Iron Man mode there. So uh, we won't cheat though, but we won't reload. And yeah, but Iron Man is just very, very difficult with with uh, Let's Plays. That's why I'm not going for Iron Man here. So, let's start the galaxy. <laughs> I'm pretty thrilled. The Empire of Nautilon's arrival. Many false prophets took it upon themselves to offer spiritual guidance to our people as we advanced through the ages, but the true faith prevailed. The last heathen strongholds were vanquished after several bloody crusades, uniting us under the holy will of a single divine leader. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane network, the finest minds of the Empire of Nautilon's arrival have finished development of the first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. And now, when I'm doing something, I'm following my own guides here. So, we're just... Let's first look what do we have as ruler traits. We have a resilient ruler with champion of the people. Resilient is useless for a ruler, but champion of the people is pretty good. And maybe it can help us to gain more skill as a ruler. No air yet. Let's see what else do we have. We have no contacts yet, as would be expected. Technologies, yeah, but first we want to look into the leader screen. Oh, let's look at this here. Wow, we have a genius leader, that is lucky. And we have an adaptable leader that is okay, but it's not really great. Materials is pretty much okay. Let's see, do we have more leaders that are good? Let's see, we have someone with anomaly research speed plus 35%. That's that's okay as well. We have a good governor, an intellectual, Jesse Handler. Let's see. They, they should also put like a name generator thing out there, but let's see. What scientists are there to recruit as well? We could gain a Roma, which would be extremely good for the start. Like I I'm I think I'd I I'd, I'd love to have a roamer as well and build a second science ship to explore the galaxy faster. I think that is also the will of Nautilon to know more about the galaxy. So we will add a roamer in as well for another science ship that we'll be building. Now let's look at the technology that we want to research. New Worlds Protocol. We still need that. We still need that for the colony ship. So, um, yeah. We have a rule that sh that states we want to expand as quickly as we can to make more of the universe safe. And safe means inhabited by nautiloids. So we need to research the colony ship here. And as this has absolute priority, we're putting our genius on that. Then here we have physics research and we want to put Ning Pan on physics research. 
What could we have here? So, um... What Nautilon, like, the Nautiloids believe that every technology is a gift from Nautilon, which is their god. And they believe he wants the galaxy to be safe and full of food. And rare technologies are a special gift from Nautilon that must be accepted. Like, we'll, we'll research any rare technology, even if it doesn't make sense. <laughs> So here we basically have nothing special that we would go for. Like research is for them something something religious, so that would be a little bit um, okay. And mm, but maybe we should just go for the solar panel network to be able to have contact with the eye of Nautilon. And we have engineering. Oh, that's something. A robotic path. Yeah, what would make the world safer for us at the moment? Like, we need to expand? Like that wouldn't make the world safer. That would be adding a little bit more research. The nano-composite armor would be safer for the ships, but we, we should really expand first. The army damage would make the world safer as well and add in some minerals. It would compensate for our weakness, which is a good thing. And it is very akin to an improved shell. So we are basically building an improved shell for the for the little ones here. And this improved shell will give them yeah, the capability to mine more minerals and to do more damage in combat. So what do we have here on Neptulus now? do we have on the surface like um what we should add in i mean we are collective we could use slavery but of course that is that is not like in their they they don't want to enslave their people like the the nautiloid is holy in itself like the the, the god nautilon didn't want them to um to be enslaved. So we're going for the policies here. And we're just prohibiting slavery now. Um, that's that's though a good chance to look at policies. Purge is absolutely allowed. Bombardment is yeah, that's limited. Okay, the migration is prohibited. Resettlement is allowed. Absolutely. Voting rights, no voting. This is a divine mandate. And leadership, primary species, yes. First contract protocol, aggressive. We have to see that everyone out there is a threat, a potential threat. So <laughs> we're definitely going for aggressive. Look at the edicts. Mm, I think we cannot really go for edicts right now at the moment. I don't think it will be a good idea to go for any of these at the moment, so... There's that, so let's have a look at the surface of Neptulus. What should we build here? We should maybe build like a farm. Here. As food has preference for for Neptulus. And then we could maybe add another farm on this place. But that will be done later. That will be done later. We're doing this step by step. Now we have another researcher. So we also want another science ship. And we also want to instantly have our... Uh, our Roma here on the science ship that we already have. Survey the system at once. Then we have our strike force here. We're setting them to evasive right now. Let's have a look. Wow, look at that. We have a lot of habitable planets here. Let's fly through here and explore these systems. I 
I'm putting it on evasive because I want them to flee as soon as they encounter an enemy, as would be um, the safety first policy of the snails. And we're also, yeah, we're, we're having a look where we can send the second science ship. We have a construction ship that we're just sending here first. Let's have a look. What else can we do? We have the expansion planner. Well, we can see nothing yet. We have factions yet. We have loyalists at the moment only. Our leaders, our planets and sectors. Everything is nice and new. So let's go for it. Let's do our first steps. We have a new heir. High Priest Guo I is the new heir to our empire and will take the throne when our current ruler dies. Let's have a look. He has deep connections. Oh, and has a home in the sky. That is very good. Like deep connections is, is always something I love to have. Influence points are so hard to come by. Let's make it a little bit faster. I mean, we're role playing, so we don't want to miss anything that much, but. At the start, not much will happen, so... Eye of Nautilon has nothing. It's it's just the eye. Look at this. This is the red eye of Construction Nautilon. complete. And... We have construction complete. Our ship is called Protector. Oh, I hope that's a good omen for our scientist. I believe we have been here. There's no other uh, sieve there, so we'll send it here and survey that system. They also have new symbols. It looks a little bit more polished, right? What's in here? Oh, a very small planet, uh, but uh, directly a savanna world. Oh, wow. We're just, we're going for that protocol. I mean, we're going for it. It's the thing to go for. Look at that, what world do we have here? An alpine world. Anomaly we're just flying found. through here. So, anomalies. Wow, that, that failure risk is much too high. I mean, we'll leave that be. Like we have tagged the anomaly, nobody else can take it now, so it's okay to, to leave it be until we have a high-level researcher. If you, um, you have two or more levels above your research of the anomaly, then you'll get an extra um, fail chance. This explains the 80% fail chance there. So, uh, have we found anything yet? Not really. Anomaly found. Oh, another anomaly, level three. Ah, scanning the star, Despot unveils a small object in the rapid orbit. Its small size and high velocity make it difficult for our sensors to isolate. We'll leave that be too. It's not a good Construction chance. Construction complete. Constructed the surface thing. Ah, yeah, the farm is being constructed. So we're building another farm on this terrain. There we go. Yeah, our spaceport. We'll see how that goes, right? Oh, there's not many habitable worlds outside of our cluster here. We'll have the construction ship follow the science ship. So we can uh, so we can maybe see where we can build some space stations early on. Oh, here, nice, nice, nice. Two minerals on Saint Hosen, that small planetary dear, and two energy. Oh, we would we would certainly need energy. System survey complete. We'll have to wait 
Oh, look at that. Yan Lin. The Roma has leveled up. And we have fully explored the Despot system. Hmm. There's not, not much there except anomalies, but that's okay. Let's go to this system here. And our strike force. Should uh, look at these other systems in the other direction here. Find out something about them as well. A little bit afraid to go uh, further away, but. <coughs> I think it's going to be okay. Also regularly checking, I mean, another science leader would not hurt much. So let's have a look. If you're getting good ones here, like a genius one is always worth recruiting. Excuse me for a moment. Oh, we've made a discovery! Let's have a look. The discovery of alien life. The naughty protector has made a startling find on Lerizumon 3. Here. The planet is teeming with alien life. For the first time in history, we have encountered life forms that did not originate on Neptulus. This amazing discovery has silenced those who believe we were alone in the universe. Although none of the alien creatures found on the Summon 3 are sentient, it is likely only a matter of time before we encounter beings that are. We may not be alone out here. Ooh. We may not be alone. How's our New Worlds protocol going? And we need more army damage. Situation. Look at that, what a world! And we had an encounter in Nupron. We've encountered some form of alien vessels in the Nupron system. These strange objects have been flagged as Nupron until we can learn more about them. Oh, Nupron. The Nupron, where are they? Where is our. Here. Let's have a look. They're already away. Oh, this, this looks strange. It looks like a ring world or something. Ooh. Interesting. Investigate Nupron. Should we do that? Let's have a look. Available. In six months. Hmm. Evolve influence or special project. Yeah. What should we do? No. Uh, we must first fulfill the will of the gods and gain the new world's protocol. But it is interesting. Maybe System we'll go for it complete. at once after we have... Oh, more! More! Even more! Everything is happening at once. Planetary Animalia contact report. The priesthoods on Neptulus had a generally favorable reaction to the naughty protector's reports of complex yet dumb organisms found on alien planets. The findings did spark some interdoctrinal debate. Is this proof that the Nautiloids are the lords of all within creation? Or have we simply not yet encountered our brethren from beyond the void? Yeah, our brethren? I don't know. Oh, look at that. That is some... Construction complete. Oh, dangerous empire. There we go. We have finished the construction here. Go for that. And next would be maybe we could build something for mining, but we really need energy credits, so we'll build a power plant here. Oh, we also need to save up for Naughty for the first Grand Mausoleum. It should be here. Like that's that's a place that is ideal. Look at the, the terrain, that the river here. That is very pittoresque. So, but now, for now, we need a power plant. Because 
because we're losing. So, everything is researched here in the Eye of Nautilon. We should go to that system. Uh, what did we do here? Uh, we only need the science ship to go here. Our construction ship needs to build something soon, hopefully. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah, it should just stay here. I go into the orbit here until we have the 90 minerals for the mining station. So one of the house rules is that in 15 years we need to have at least 70% of our naval capacity. We call safety first, right? Safety first. Alien vessel updated. Evading hostile oh, what is happening? The first strike force has encountered a hostile alien vessels fleet in Sia Baolia and is currently attempting to evade them. Alright. Where is that? Sia Baolia. The Alpha Menace. Encountered some form of alien vessels in the Sia Baolia system. These strange objects have been flagged as Alpha Menace, until we can learn more about them. Should proceed with caution. Interesting. News of alien ships humming through the ether have reached Dactylus, in many ways ending the first chapter in the book of the Empire of Nautilon's arrival's bid for a stellar empire. Oh. What is that? What is that? That is something we may research in the coming episode. And I think that is like a, a good ending. Finding more and impressive beings in that class A strange system with cold fire burning. Happy gaming to you, see you in the next episode when we'll explore more of the galaxy and meet more threats, more danger, more that we need to remove to make the universe safe again. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.